Listen, 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 listen. Here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, no, 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 a little closer, a little closer. I already knew that he was going to be in the movie. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooze back in once again with some Marvel news. Yes, we're going to start covering some Marvel news because, you know what, I just feel like there is so much to talk about, especially within the MCU, that, you know what, it warrants some news, some discussions, and some, you know, some some back and forth conversation with you guys in the comments because we're trying to get as much uh content of course out there as it, it pertains to the things that i love and one of the things i definitely love is some good ass movies and speaking of good ass movies we got the mcu first and foremost one of my favorite favorite superheroes of all time you already know him you already probably love him it's my man spider-man and if you are as hype as i am i did mention the last marvel related video which i'm pretty sure is the black widow review so go check that out if you haven't already after you're done watching this you'll know that the one thing that i'm definitely looking forward to the most is the spider-man no way home movie that's coming out later this year now at this time of this video we have not seen any trailers we haven't seen anything outside of news bits rumors speculation and whatnot and what I have in front of me is an article brought to us by TheDirect.com, which was reported to me by a, a very u uh, useful Twitter account uh, known as uh, MCU Direct. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go follow them yourselves. But if you want to see the hype in the review, of course, you got to come here for that, okay? So naturally, they didn't put me up to this, but we're going to go over and read this article and then i'm gonna give you guys my imp impressions and we will discuss this so here's the headline spider-man 3 another toby Maguire voice actor teases his return in no way home so it has been long rumored that andrew garfield and toby Maguire would both be returning in spider-man no way home as otherworldly peter parkers naturally because you know that's kind of the direction that we're We've been we've been definitely heading towards with all the things we've been saying, setting up with Loki, with WandaVision, the teases, and, and even the last Spider-Man film, I consider that a little very, very, very small tease as to uh, variants and all that other crap and whatnot, so have you. So here we go. Garfield had apparently signed, but Marvel Studios were in talks, were still in talks with McGuire for him to appear. So Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige wouldn't directly acknowledge this rumor, but that doesn't stop uh, others from showing their hand. Roger Pera, the Spanish voice actor for Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker in the Sam Raimi-directed Spider-Man trilogy, revealed that he was involved in the Spider-Man threequel. As if to hammer home even harder that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man will return in Spider-Man No Way Home, another foreign voice actor has seemingly confirmed his own involvement too. So, I mean, so far, we're not even fully done with this article, but you can already tell that things are getting... Uh, very close to being completely spilled as far as the beans, I mean, as far as the cat being out of the bag, or in this case, the spider, or several, because this is huge, all right? Especially if you're like me, who has been really following the speculation, following the rumors, and just overall excited for the third Spider-Man film to be this big. I mean, what's bigger than having a Spider-Man 3 with three Spider-Man? Potentially more, I don't know. But you know what, let's, let's continue. On his Instagram, voice actor Manolo Rey, who dubbed the Brazilian Portuguese voice for Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker in the original three Spider-Man movies, was asked, will you dub Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man again in Spider-Man No Way Home? His only response was a video of himself Sealing his lips and giving a thumbs up, coyly hinting at a return. Of course, we're going to play uh, the video uh, right here. I mean... So now that we've read uh, through this, here's ob my obvious impression. The fact that we had an international dubber, which I honestly forgot happened for, you know, a lot of these movies that, you know, isn't anime. I wouldn't ever look into seeing any other types of dubs or subs or anything like that however when it comes to this it's very important to note that uh marvel is very huge so of course it's going to have a market literally uh, worldwide and there's always going to be voice actors dubbing these characters because some you know parts of the world have that and uh you know this happens in anime obviously and you know this channel pretty much got built up on a lot of anime content um, and in relation to that, of course, we're going to have our, our Portuguese Brazilian dubbers that are going to start talking uh, when they're asking questions. Because especially 
kind of being a we're getting closer to the release of no way home i don't know exactly when but i do know it is uh, supposed to be coming out towards the end of this year and since we are closing the gap from you know now and its release a lot more things are going to be coming out as far as news and i'm expecting to see some sort of trailer very very soon so if we have my man ray coming out and making a a, a response video with him just sealing his lips but putting a thumbs up i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and say it that is that is a direct way of saying absolutely yes <laughs> so of course that is i'm reading into it because that's how i wanted that's how i want it to turn out to be but you know it just it just makes too much sense guys how you gonna have a spider-man film set itself up to where our tom holland's peter parker is literally he got his back against the wall his identity just got revealed how do you hide within the shadows or how do you hide in, in plain sight people are going to be after they're going to find out where he lives at where he goes to school and what better way as far as you know how everything else is turning out we have variants all right we have potential what if scenarios that will set up for things that could happen in the marvel cinematic universe and there's just a lot of different ways to look at this and the point is is that we're definitely getting more than just one Spider-Man in this film. I think that this was definitely important enough to talk about. Um, I'm going to, you know, of course, point it over to you guys. What do you guys think about this? Uh, do you think it's a 100% confirmation? And um, are, are you expecting a trailer to be the first official source to completely reveal uh, the inclusion of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire? Because aside from them, we already have confirmed news that there are actors that played other characters from the previous spider-man films that are reprising their roles in this movie just to quickly go back to uh jamie fox and his role as electro um and excuse me for not remembering his, this person's name but the dude who played doc ock i mean they're setting up some crazy film here we're probably going to get a sinister six kind of situation going on and to even out the odds what better for 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 peter to get help from other peters okay that that'd be amazing in and of itself so let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links are going to be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time